through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Jump it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 144. Woo. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're going to be talking about DVDs, doing our rundown mm-hmm. for the week of May 8th. Yeah. It's a Tuesday, <laughs> as per <laughs> usual. Um, just making sure it's crystal clear yeah, for yeah, everyone yeah. out there. Um, kind of a tough week overall. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could say, you know, if it's not necessarily our kind of stuff. Yeah. There might be people yeah. out there yeah, like there might be some I people. Yeah. Um, you know, we got the Underworld stuff. Nothing particularly interesting there, so yeah. we're going to gloss over that. Mm-hmm. There's a four-pack if you really like Underworld. Not the really Three-pack, what, came out like a month ago or something? Probably, yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to start out one that I am not invested on mm-hmm. at all, but it's always a huge movie, which was The Vow. Yes. The one that came out around Valentine's Day, I believe. Yes. It yes. Channing Tatum and uh, Rachel McAdams. Yes. About a woman who loses her memory and her husband, like, vows mm-hmm. to sort of make her fall back in love with them. Yeah, I think it's uh, based on a true story. And it's, uh, I think, a, a car accident that she lost her memory from which is kind of like i mean it, it was i think the first really huge hit of the year i mm, think it was mm-hmm. 100 plus million dollar oh, wow. film so it was it was a big film shows that my, where I, the circles i run in clearly yeah. aren't romantic yeah. comedies or romantic <laughs> that, movies because i didn't even know that it. was exactly it I, like, i'm sure we're gonna get flack for not being romantic <laughs> enough and i probably accept that criticism but it's funny you mentioned that it's based on a true story because you know the, the special features for it are um kind of lacking it comes mm. in a combo pack which is cool good on them for that okay. but it's basically it's got a gag reel deleted scenes a director's commentary and mm. on the blu-ray there are three making of featurettes okay hopefully that would be one of them because i'd really like to know yeah. a bit more about the true story yeah that it, sounds pretty interesting to me yeah i was really interested in the true story until i read a little bit more about it and found out like the actual basic plot which is supposed to be that you know they're they're faith in god and their love for each oh, other is what brought them god. is what brought mm. them back together and i was like okay that's cool but that's less accessible as a true story mm. than just saying like i really cared for this person for me if it was a documentary oh, i think i'd be more okay with that as oh yeah opposed to like it feeling like you know a dramatic film where they're forcing yeah. religion down my throat yeah dr- you always got to worry with with dramatic films being preachy with if, if people like yeah. are legitimately really religious though in documentaries, like no, I definitely. can accept that. Oh, definitely. Anymore. And in general, in life, I mean, pe- feel the free. The thing to be that religious. it sort of made me think of when I saw the trailer was the Notebook, because mm-hmm. that's sort of the same yeah. basic idea. And it has Rachel McAdams. Yeah. Also. <laughs> but that one's more of like Alzheimer's mm-hmm. after the fact, whereas this one is yeah. like young, pretty people doing mm-hmm. it, which is a much easier <laughs> sell probably. Yeah, that's true. The Notebook that's made a good a ton point. Of yeah, young, pretty people. It should um, be a movie. It probably is a movie. If not, it will be probably in 2013. I'm copywriting that idea right now. Now. Any money must be. Directed. Isn't there a show pretty much on HBO called that? Oh no, it's called Girls. That's right. Sorry, yes. different, different name. Yes, but it it's might pretty as well much be every show people. on television is pretty much young, pretty people. Like, let's be real. Yeah. Um, the, the next one that I want to talk about was actually one that you had raised, mm-hmm. which was the Blu-ray Criterion release of La Haine, mm-hmm. uh, the French film which you've yes. spoken about before. Love it, love it, um, love it. What's the basic general gist of it for those who are not familiar? Uh, it's in, I believe, the mid-90s. There was some riots going on in Paris, and it, this kind of revolves around tense times in the Banlieue, which is basically the ghetto mm. um, in French, uh, and it's kind of these low ru- low income housing areas, and you have three main characters all from this kind of slum. During a tumultuous political time, you have a, a Jewish character, a black character, and an Arab character, mm. and it's all kind of about this night after or this day after riots. So these riots have happened in this kind of the aftermath of these three characters in in the city. And you know, being a Criterion edition, you know it's going to be packed. Oh, yeah. They have a HD digital restored transfer mm-hmm. um, introduction by actor Jody Foster. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Huh. Uh, ten years later of Lahaine, an Ooh. 80 minute documentary Dang. that brings the cast and crew back together. Featurette of the film's Ban Liu mm-hmm. setting. Um, production footage, deleted extended scenes, Tons. all sorts of a booklet Criteria. featuring an essay by film scholar Jeanette Vicinadu, wow. and an appreciation uh, 2006 by acclaimed filmmaker Costa Garvas. Yeah, it's, Garvas. It, it's a it's a great great film. It, very interestingly shot. Um, if you know anything about French, I don't speak enough mm. to really matter, but 
if you actually were to listen to this movie, I'm an expert, so <laughs> and you were just FYI. a native of French, it's, it uses a lot of French slang. It's pretty, pretty heavy in the slang. Like we cool. obviously, as English speakers, we just read the subtitles and we don't know. But this would be like watching Train Spotting as an mm. English speaker, where you're like, it's so thick in the accent if you were a French speaker. That can be tough. Mm -hmm. uh, but the last film we want to talk about is an indie. Indie small little <laughs> film, if you will. Um, <laughs> that despite... amazes me that that has indie under the classification, but continue. Well, yes. I mean, <laughs> but if you go by the title, it's yes, uh, yes. Tim and Eric's billion dollar movie. Yes. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's a joke for those yes. who have not heard of it or mm -hmm. are not familiar with Tim and Eric. Tim and Eric's awesome show, great job. Yes. Um, it's, uh, was it Tim Heidecker and mm -hmm. Eric uh, Wareheim? Yes, yes. Um, this is, you know, their feature sort of film... I guess debut. I don't know yeah. if they've been in other stuff. <laughs> no, I, I, well, I think one of them was in Bridesmaids. Maybe they're probably cameos yes. and stuff so. like that. But this is like them as stars, you mm -hmm. know. Um, I'm always fond of indie films, you know, getting out there and stuff like that. Uh, this is playing at South by Southwest or hmm. before South by Southwest. I remember it being on the marquee of mm -hmm. one of the theaters down there. Um, but it's always a challenge for, you know, indie films to be released because a lot of times they can't do as interesting of... Uh, additions because you know special features cost yeah. money you know oh yeah that's a good um, point documentaries really behind the that. scenes all that kind of stuff is is tough and they got a few of them so it's not quite as I know it's not Criterion edition but you know you got like <laughs> commentary with Tim and Eric which I'm sure everyone is going to want to hear yeah and it's uh, probably very bizarre deleted and extended scenes Good Evening Swallow Valley a little featurette or a short mm -hmm. little thing uh, interview with Tim and Eric. HD net looking at the movie, you know, mm -hmm. a shrimp dance screensaver. Um, so it's you know it's a decent, mm -hmm. decent amount of features mm -hmm. for an indie film. Yeah, which is definitely. pretty cool. And you know, this is one of those groups that has a really dedicated following. So mm -hmm. I'm sure kind of um, counterculture style yes. humor. Yeah, so, alternative humor, I guess would yeah. be called. So I'm sure you know. Uh, the people who are already oh, yes. invested in that series Definitely. are going to be buying the DVD, and maybe yeah. maybe those outside of it will be willing to give it a chance based on this DV synopsis. Possibly. Um, <laughs> that being said, let us know what your uh, DVD picks for the week would be. What people should check out. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe Underworld is the way to go. I don't know. <laughs> I, I find it hard to believe, but I could be wrong. And uh, next week, or next episode, I should mm -hmm. say, it's tomorrow. Yes. Uh, <laughs> in uh, 145, we're going to be talking about country movies mm -hmm. in honor of Hick coming yes. out. Uh, basically, you know, films that sort of take place outside of suburbia. Yes, kind of um, rural. Yeah, rural settings. <laughs> Not necessarily... Uh, Sometimes small, it's kind of small town. Yeah, it's a small town. That's small a good way. That's a way to good way to describe. Be it. as least offensive yeah. as we can to those who live in these areas. Yes, I grew up in one of those areas. So, hey, so did I. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I feel like it's fair to talk about it. Yeah. Um, Rednecks. Yeah. There we go. I said the word. We were all. <laughs> um, that being said, you can. Uh, Direct all your hate mail to Greg at MacGuffinPodcast.com. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and find us at MacGuffinPodcast.com mm -hmm. or on Twitter.com slash MacGuffinPod... MacGuffinCast. Yes. Whoa, 144 <laughs> episodes and still screwing up. Uh, Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast. Uh, phone number, 323-761-9842. We're on iTunes. We're on Blip.TV. Mm -hmm. We're on Roku. Uh, give us reviews on iTunes mm -hmm. and check in at get glue mm -hmm. um all those fun little places and we'll see you next episode Magneto can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. It's tight, don't even try to bite the side style. Mr. Spock can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space games.